Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so you might be going through a situation where there has been a temporary uh, separation from you and the person that you have been going out with. You've been, uh, you or the other person is very, very codependent. So there's that kind of element going on. There's a bit of manipulation going on within that relationship. Now there might be a new love coming in for you. Uh, so be aware of that. This temporary situation of uh, separation might actually open the doors for a new love to enter into the scenario. Um, so in the past, uh, this relationship you f thought was, you know, marriage of minds. So, you know, you connected very, very closely to this person or you were very, very connected to this person. And, you know, you were working on the fact that it would all work out. You had a very optimistic point of view about whatever this relationship was. Now, going into the future, you've got this unrealistic expectations. So, um, you know, whatever is going on within that relationship, either you or the other person expects too much out of it. And maybe you are being a bit unrealistic about what, um, you know, is coming out of that relationship. There has been many, uh, too many tears as well. So whatever has been going on, maybe you expect things to work a certain way and these are a bit unrealistic and there's been a lot of arguments, fights, um, you know, maybe you're... Um, are not getting along in, anymore and this is a bit unrealistic to expect the relationship to continue because there's so much of unhappiness there's too many tears so maybe if a new relationship comes in a new love comes in it might be worth pursuing that maybe that's what you're hoping for or maybe somebody has made some kind of offer to you or has shown some kind of interest maybe you know the relationship with a new person uh, might be better uh, because the relationship that you're in has got uh, too many problems at this particular moment so those are the energies for those two weeks. So I'm going to use the Romantic Tarot for the main read. So you've got the strength card at the bottom of the deck, which is showing you putting a lot of effort into something that's not really working out. You can see this man's putting all his effort and energy and you're doing a lot of work on this relationship, but it's not shifting it or it's not making, there's no movement within that relationship. He can't move the stone rock. There's been a lot of problems. You see this woman sorting out this lie and there's a lot of problems in the relationship. And no matter how much of effort you've been putting into this particular um problems into the problems to try to sort them out it doesn't seem like it's making any kind of headway maybe you're also feeling very very restricted within this particular relationship you can see this woman and this lion are tied up together so it seems like whatever efforts and energy uh, um, you know all, all of it doesn't seem to be working out it seems to no avail really at this particular moment that's how you're feeling at the moment so it looks like there is a new relationship coming in. You've got that Ace of Pentacles. It might be somebody that you meet in a work scenario. Uh, you know, they might be very financially stable uh, or, you know, um, they are, are reasonably financially uh, well off, really. Uh, or you're working with this particular person. You've got that Ace uh, coming in. Uh, but you yourself are still tied up in that old relationship. So this person seems to be making some kind of effort to approach you, but you still seem to be focused on that old relationship. You can see this woman's praying to this old tombstone over here, and she's got her back to this man. And now you're still being, you know, it's the Eight of Swords. You're tied up in your thoughts with the old relationship. You're still dealing with all the problems from the old relationship, and you don't haven't paid attention to this new uh, relationship on offer. So this is the Ace of Pentacles person. So this is that new relationship coming in, and it's somebody that you're probably working with but you're still stuck in that past relationship or you're still dealing with things from the past relationship. Now, in the past, you've got the devil card over here. So this particular relationship that you have been dealing with uh, or this long-term relationship um, is very controlling. Uh, this person that is uh, very manipulative. They control your thoughts. They control your actions. You can see this woman's feet 
um, or legs are bound by this um, chain. So maybe they even control how you, uh, what you do, where you go to, who you speak to. There's a lot of lies and deception as well going into it. And they focus all their energy on you. This woman's in the spotlight over here. So, you know, they put all their effort and energy into manipulating you and controlling you. So that has what, that's what's been going on. Now, um, you are trying to move away from this particular situation. So in the last few months, you've got this uh, Knight of Rods. This could be somebody uh, coming in uh, and making some kind of an offer to you. Um, you know, maybe this Ace of Pentacles person is the person making that new relationship coming in. But it seems like somebody has approached you. Uh, you've got the Knight of uh, Rods of a very dynamic person. Uh, there's been communication with this person. Uh, so you have been uh, talking to this person or even texting them, phoning them, some kind of communication coming through for, from them. There's a lot of birds as well in the back. So it looks like there may have been some phone calls as well. So maybe this person has been, uh, you know, um, approaching you and uh, you're very interested in this particular person. So what's in your mind is this particular relationship. Now, you know, it seems to have been uh, your old relationship or the one that you are in. It seems to have been a long-term relationship. You've got this really old oxen over here. Um, you know, you are feeling very left out. You and this person don't seem to have very much communication. You seem to have taken a back seat in this particular relationship. And it seems like the person that you're involved in um, is in the driving seat. So whatever this relationship you are in, it's very controlling. Um, and you are taking that backseat role. They seem to be doing everything, uh, controlling the whole situation, running the show over there. And, uh, you know, you don't seem to have, uh, you know, much say in what is going on. That's the chariot card. So going into the future, it seems like this new offer has come in. Um, you know, you are still hiding behind uh, your mask over there, so you are not showing anybody your emotions. You're doing a lot of thinking over there. Uh, there might be a lot of communication with this particular person here, and this new offer comes in for you. Now, with the Four of Cups, it's about receiving an offer that you're really not that interested in accepting, but, uh, you know, or you are discounting the offer. But it seems like this new offer has come in for you, and, uh, you know, it, you might actually well be considering it. So what's happening with you? You're still very, very focused on work. You're running around, uh, you know, um, got all your energies put into whatever your work life is. You know, uh, you're not really thinking that clearly about what you want to do next. You've got that seven of pentacles. Uh, you know, you're investing your time, it seems, in your work and focusing on your work, um, getting in the coins, really, rather than actually uh, focusing on the relationship. What's going on around you? You've got the six of coins over here. So it looks like, you know, you are meeting people on the work front, uh, you know, from different uh, different kinds of people, you know, very artistic kinds of people. Uh, and, you know, you are looking for something different uh, than the relationship that you are in. You want more freedom in choice as well. And you also want the person to be a lot more financially uh, independent. Uh, and maybe you want them to be somebody that takes care of you financially as well. So that's what you're actually looking for in a relationship. Now, what's in your mind? You are trying to get control of that situation. Now, you could well be dealing with a fire sign person over here, the, or um, a, rather a Aries or a Scorpio with this Emperor card over here. Maybe this person is very controlling, and uh, you know you don't want to really get back into a relationship with a person who is manipulating you and who doesn't really have much feeling for your situation. The Emperor is somebody that is very cold and aloof, very authoritative, um, somebody who doesn't really listen. So this is what you're afraid of getting back into again. So going into the future, you've got the Three of Cups over here, the King of Swords, and the Seven of Cups. So the Three of Cups is, uh, you know, um, you might be actually even, uh, you know, decide to maybe play the field, if you like, with the Three of Cups going out, having some fun, meeting different people. Uh, you know, you can see this man's visiting all the different women over there. So, you know, you could be deciding to go out a lot with friends and just have casual relationships. And that might be something that you're considering doing, uh, you know, to get yourself distracted from whatever's going on in that relationship. It seems like if this is a, a, divorce, um, a committed relationship of some sort, uh, you're going through some kind of divorce situation. So you've got that King of Swords over here, a decision being made. Now, whoever you are dealing with, this person in the, uh, that you're getting divorced from, you have seemed to have broken off communication. There have been a lot of arguments and fights, and it seems like, uh, you know, you've got your defenses up, you've got that shield over there, and um, it seems like, uh, you know, you broke off communication with this particular person. But there also seems to be a, a judgment pending over here, so you're waiting for some kind of legal decision, or you might even be pursuing uh, the courts to have uh, a divorce from this particular person. 
Now you've got the Seven of Cups coming in. Uh, so this is going out uh, and, uh, you know, um, opening up your options, really, meeting a lot of people, socializing, uh, you know, uh, just taking things casually. So maybe this is where you're going towards. You're not really concerned with whom you meet, but you really are opening up your options and going out and having a lot more uh, social um, in encounters. Um, so the Seven of Cups is having a lot of options, uh, but not really looking too deeply into each uh, option or each person that comes your way. And, you, you know, it's, it doesn't seem like you want to form any kind of specific relationship with somebody so you're you're playing the field if you like um after this divorce situation comes through and even with that three of cups it's it's almost like a celebration but it's also going out there and socializing a lot more with people getting your emotional fulfillment by going out a lot more and it seems like you're going to be doing that as soon as this particular legal situation comes to an end there is that offer coming in, and it looks like it is from somebody from the workplace. But whether or not you're going to accept it is uh, really up to you. With the Four of Cups, it's really not interested. Uh, you know, even though the offer comes through, you may not be interested because you're waiting for this legal situation to come through. And, you know, after that, it seems like, you know, you don't really want to commit to anybody for a little while after having gone through this particular scenario. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Archangel Power Tarot. You've got the Eight of Raphael, which says there's something better waiting for you. Do what you know is right for you, a spiritual quest. So it looks like you're going to be walking away from any kind of situation. Uh, a Raphael, Eight of Raphael is like the Eight of Cups, so leaving behind an old situation and pursuing something else uh, in the future. So there's a new relationship being presented to you, and it looks like you're turning your back on the old one and you're going to be moving on. You've got the Five of Ariel over here, so you needn't go through your current challenges alone. Help is need, uh, ready and... Uh, Negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecies. So you need to stop feeling lost and, uh, you know, alone. There is support for you. That five of areas, like the five of pentacles, feeling left out of the cold, left out in the cold, feeling isolated, maybe from a social group, uh, maybe also feeling uh, financial loss after gone through, going through this uh, separation or divorce. Now, there are people that are going to help you and support you, so you seek that kind of help. You've got the chariot, and this is the card of moving on. So you can see this chariot is almost moving on from that five of Ariel. So you will move away from this uh, situation, and determination and self-control, um, career advancement, acknowledgement of success uh, by others. So you are going to be moving away from this particular loss that you're going through. And it seems like you're going to be somebody that's pursuing your career more than uh, somebody that's pursuing a relationship. You're determined and you are going to be moving. The chariot card also means there's some kind of home move coming up for you. So maybe after this legal situation, you've got two cards of movement over here with that eight of Raphael. And the chariot, you are leaving behind this person and maybe physically moving away from them. Maybe relocating, changing home, just moving away. Even on, on your mind, you're planning on leaving the situation. You've got that chariot card on your mind there as well. So it's appeared twice you are thinking of leaving this, relocating, maybe moving home, uh, buying a new home somewhere else and re, you know starting afresh. Uh, but leaving that old relationship and moving on because you are feeling very lost, very alone. And uh, you know, you're feeling... Uh, um, financial loss as well with it. So it looks like you're going to be leaving this old situation as soon as this uh, legal um, decision has been made and you're going to be moving on and starting something new, maybe focusing more on your career, uh, you know, because you've got that seven of pentacles, investing your time in your career uh, rather than pursuing another relationship. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.